Let's say you have a few objects. You can be playing cards, figurines, anything. And you want to shuffle them randomly. Certainly, you won't even try to do it manually. I will show you a method to do just that using the Python Blender API with only 10 lines of simple code. I will go a bit in depth about the method, but if you want, you can just skip to the end and copy the script. We will create a simple script that will get the location and rotation of each object and randomly assign those transforms to other objects, thus shuffling everything. Let's go to the scripting tab and create a new script. I'm going to call it shuffle object. First, let's import the BPY module to talk with Blender. Easy enough. Harder now, let's get all the objects we want to shuffle, that is all the objects we selected in our scene. We now have the list of the source objects data stored in memory. Now I only want the location and rotation data. This new variable will be a list that will store the location and rotation of each object in our source object list. If we continue like that, however, we will run into a problem. The location and rotation stored in the list are still linked to the source object, so if we apply the transform of one object to another object using the data in this list, they will both share the same data and we won't be able to shuffle the objects. To fix that, we need to do a shallow copy of the location and rotation data using the copy module. Now we can add the copy method in the creation of the list. Then let's shuffle everything. Import the shuffle method from the random module and shuffle the list of transforms. Now we can apply the shuffle transform in order to our selected objects. Iterate for each source object and target transform tuple. The zip method allows to increment two iterators at once. To apply the transform, let's assign the first element of the transform tuple to the location of the current object and the second one to the rotation. Run the script and it works. Best thing about this, you can keyframe the rotation and location of each object before and after running the script to create a shuffling animation. Then you will just have to clean up the collisions if needed and we got our simple shuffling script. Hope that was useful. See you next time.